But uh, not only once a year, it was a really um, landmark point in the history of Soviet Union. Chernobyl NPP was a strategic economic uh, facility. So uh, from the very beginning, the uh, KGB servicemen oversaw it, its construction. So we have thousand documents uh, uh, about uh, the uh, construction of NPP, about the accident of 1986 and liquidation of consequences and attempts of Soviet power to conceal its large scale. Uh, this, topic, this is a topic uh, of my lecture. Uh, with, uh, uh, the lecture is about new documents uh, declassified uh, from the state archives of security service of Ukraine according to the directives of the 24th uh, assembly of the Communist Party of Soviet Union in Kiev region in 1971 in Chernobyl uh, district near the village of Kopachi, the first in Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic uh, uh, NPP of, of 2 million kilowatts capacity uh, was uh, built, uh, was being built. Uh, the uh, security service uh, KGB servicemen, uh, they uh, divided persons, uh, uh, sus uh, suspicious persons into categories uh, uh, which uh, uh, were worth of special attention from their side. There were 31 persons of German nationality, two Chinese, four previously convicted persons, and 11 persons who uh, uh, had uh, correspondence uh, with the uh, uh, capitalist countries' uh, citizens and one former participant in underground Ukrainian nationalist organization. After 10 years uh, at the uh, time of accident, uh, there were 91 uh, agents, 8 residents, and 119 authorized persons, uh, they were in control of uh, all the situation around Chernobyl and PP in 1970s, 1980s. It was the uh, next phase of escalation of the Cold War, and Soviet leaders prepared the population to its possible transformation into the armed conflict with the use of nuclear weapon. Of course, there were trainings uh, even for school children on the so-called civil defense. They were mandatory. And uh, even for those who constructed and serviced Chernobyl and PP or other infrastructure facilities, so all the population of uh, Soviet Union knew what to do in the event of nuclear attack. Uh, and uh, they knew uh, what to do when the enemy attacked them with nuclear weapon, but they did not know what to do when uh, the atom for peace, uh, which was promoted by propaganda, when this atom for peace, this nuclear peaceful uh, energy attacked them. Uh, the, but uh, the servicemen uh, of uh, Chernobyl and PP, uh, they should be aware, um, they should uh, have been prepared to such an accident because secret messages of KGB from the very beginning were abundant of warnings about uh, the problems with construction and operation of NPP. 
because uh, the first reactor tank uh, was tried to be commissioned uh, in advance uh, bef uh, before the schedule. Uh, ahead of the schedule. And even KGB serviceman warned the director of construction that it is impossible to launch uh, the uh, first uh, unit of Chernobyl and PP in May 1976. Uh, they warned the Ministry of Energy Sector of the USSR. So uh, the first unit was commissioned next year in, with, in winter. But this groundless haste resulted in uncorrectable mistakes. Uh, here is a message uh, proving that gamma rain of uh, pipelines revealed cavities and cracks in those pipes. All pipes were unfit for operation. Uh, Bucha uh, brick plant in Kiev region systematically supplied low quality uh, bricks uh, to the construction of NPP. In April 1976, uh, as a result of technology violation, the concrete of the tank for liquid with the radioactive waste for 5,000 cubic meters due to the negligence of the staff. Uh, it was uh, uh, distorted. In uh, January 1979, KGB servicemen again reported that according to the operative data and uh, separate uh, sections of constructions of the second unit of Chernobyl and PP, they revealed facts of uh, um, design changes and violation of technologies of construction and assemblage works that may cause accidents and casualties. And uh, uh, on February 19th, there was an accidental shutdown on the first unit of uh, Chernobyl and PP. Uh, significant radioactive leakage in the territory of plant took place on April 20, 1981. The uh, Radiation Security Service of Chernobyl NPP informed uh, the party, Communist Party and KGB that they identified the area of 180 uh, square meters with the level of radiation of 20 microrongen uh, a second, while the norm one was 0 0.8 microrangan. The scale of accident were much uh, uh, higher than it was said. The uh, lead Muha of security service, uh, he uh, said that and the commission uh, worked uh, after one uh, and a half months uh, required for liquidation of consequences. In they issued a report in October in uh, near Chistagalivka village from Chernobyl and PP. Uh, they revealed the activity of so-called hot particles, uh, which exceeded the norms hundreds times, and those particles may impair health, including lethal. Uh, 
Service information says that incident happened in the uh, in the local area in Ukraine and all over the world. Notwithstanding the heavy consequences of this incident, KGB told Volodymyr Sherbitsky, who was the head of Communist Party of Ukraine at that time, they told that, uh, that everything is normal at the place of incident. There are uh, there are no problems. The main task that KGB service servicemen had it was the blocking of the panic gossips and any information. And sometimes, and sometimes it wa it wasn't the prevention of the citizen. According to the Soviet Union, people could die, but they should die quietly. In 198 from 1983 to 1985, there were five incidents and six breaks of the main equipment. Yuri Petrov, the KGB serviceman, told about them. He always uh, he also told that this information was given to the high-level instances, but they but they uh, but they didn't react every time. Moreover, when the information was given to the Central Committee of the Communist Party about the leakage of the radioactive materials, it was qualified as disinformation, and the number of KGB servicemen were punished for this information distribution. The problems in the blocks number three and number four were fixed by KGB even in 1984. First block was working for more than two years by that time. Second was uh, was in the state of stage of commission commissioning, but there were tracks on it already. KGB servicemen reported that. Uh, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't want to have delays because there was a meeting of the Communist Party at the time, and they wanted to tell it from the stage about the new block of Chernobyl station. After that, the, the analysis was prepared of all four blocks of the power station. They told in the anal analysis that the first and second block are less reliable, but third, fourth, and other and following blocks that were under construction are made constructively more reliable. At the same time, according to, to specialist opinions, they, they don't guarantee reliable work because they were not tested in real conditions. On 26 of April 1986, the employees of power station tested for so-called reliable block, and uh, it uh, and it resulted in the explosion. On 26 of April that year, at first 25 a.m., the regular maintenance was made and uh, and the turbo generator was checked. After that, after it, after the after that fire happened, and that fire went to the mach machinery hall. There were employees at that time. Four of the, some of them went to the hospital. Four of them were in the heavy condition. The fire, the fire was liquidated. It was what's, what was sent by KGB to Moscow at night on 26th of April after this incident happened. The only things different or different from uh, in this report about the radiation level on the territory of the station 20 25 micro rentgens per second 14 micro rentgen per second but after the, after that a more detailed report followed and they told that one people one people died who was in the station that time and one more disappeared with every new message the figure of the radioactive radioactive material was increased and the scope of the catastrophe more and more unreal for the 3 p.m 26 of april the level of radiation was up to 1,000 micro per second on the territory up to 100. 
and on the territory of Pripyat, 2.4 microsecond per microgram per second. In two days after that, they were talking about it's 1,000, 1,600 micro, micro, uh, micro per second and 130, 160 in the city of Pripyat. Maybe you are all, you are all lost already in the figures and it's normal because you are not physicians, but unfortunately these figures, this data, these words were, uh, were not clear for the management as well. And from their decisions, uh, the destiny of many people depended. According to information, in three days after the incident, the radiation background in Kyiv, and you you could see this brief, uh, brief phrase, it means, what does it mean? It means that, uh, that many people paid their death and health for the non-competence of the incident, and the information was hidden from them. Uh, after many year, after many hours after the incident, in prepaid local office of the Communist Party, the special commission was created that was supposed to fight the tragedy. There w in the first hours after the incident, K K KGB made the most important organization of information blockade with the aim not to, pre to prevent information leakage, as we can see from these documents of 26th of April, with the aim not to dis distribute the gossips, they made the control of the incoming and outgoing correspondence and other, and other type of communication. Pripyat was isolated from all the all other world. The first victims of the incidents were firemen who were sure they are just fighting normal fire. They didn't even have special equipment to work in radioactive conditions. They were sure it's just a normal fire at the industrial object. Next victim became the citizens who lived nearby. Because they didn't know anything, anything about what happened, they could see some strange things, uh, some strange things going on around the station, but still, the evacuation of people started in 36 hours after the after the incident. From the certificate of KGB, we knew that only on the 3rd of April, the evacuation from 10 kilometers area was evacuated. Ecologists still think that only in one hundred, uh, only in hundreds or even thousands of years will be restored. After that, they started evacuation from 30 kilometers areas. In a few weeks, they evacuated 97,000 people from 59 settlements that were announced the area of radi radioactive, radioactive incident. The people who left their homes they were sure they uh, they leave with them just for one day and after incident liquidation they can come back also they say about the termination of work of the enterprises in the area of incident some of these enterprises work, worked only even after 26th of april for example agricultural enter enterprises and and briquet plant. As you can imagine, their production was, go was going to other parts of the country. On 26th of April, the investigation started to understand the reasons of the incident. The version was still the same. It happened because of, uh, of not enough, not, not, of, of lack of com competence. They say that the block with, uh, was tested without approval of designing organization. The research of technological processes and equipment of the reactor before the incident may, uh, makes the consumption that the first 10 minutes before the incidents, employees can make mistakes in managing the block from 7th of a from 27th of april they say 
that they have low culture of the employees. We are not talking about qualification. We are talking about the, the culture, about discipline, and the feeling of responsibility. Explosion happened due to the uh, root br root breaks of the technologies during the work of the f of the fourth block. Even during the, during the incident, there were tests on the reactor. Because of this test, the roof wo uh, the roof was uh, was broken by the explosion. A lot of radioactive material went went to uh, went to the nearby zones, and it w and it, it went even to the railway station of city Pripyat. Next to the Hoti village, next to Kiev. Kiev, the one car, one car was stopped, and uh, the people in the car told that they went uh, went for a walk. They didn't know about an incident. They knew about it only when uh, only after the detention. But the guys told that the level of the radi radiation of the car was five thousand times higher than normal one. The management of the country, who didn't understand what was going on, they couldn't evaluate the real threat, but they were responsible for the lives of the people. And the uh, and the, uh, the life of the kids who were, pa who were parading next week on Krishatik Street because of the Labor Day. And the schedule of radioactive background in Kiev, as you can see from these infographics, was picked for all. Before the parade, during the preparation, KGB servicemen told the management of the Communist Party that information coming to KGB says that the preparation to the celebration is in healthy, good atmosphere, in the atmosphere of labor, labor moods of, of the citizens. For dozens of years, uh, USSR was trained on the lessons, uh, on the lessons of uh, civil defense because they were waiting for the war with the West. But according to the situation, their action w was equal to zero. Population didn't know at all what to do with their day actions. They didn't know anything about prevention, prevention actions. Uh, there were gossip that they could uh, use yodium against radioaction, and there were a lot of poisons, be poisons because people were drinking yodium. From 47 sanit sanitary points of drinking, only five were working for, uh, for from 3rd to 10th of May, just seven. The personnel of them didn't have any individual protection means, and they were infected themselves. Except for that, uh, most of them were elderly women, and they refused to go to the exclusion area. And to prevent this accident, but uh, but who were ready for this accident? There were militaries, as usual, in Soviet Union. And we uh, we know from the KGB documents that during mobilization, the employees of Latvia and Litva uh, and Lviv and the Frankivsk region mobilization offices, they lied to the militaries. They told them that they're going to other areas. They told they will be paid three times higher and promised, promised other things. It's strange that the lack of the volunteers, Soviet Union was trying to the, was, was trying to compensate on the territories where they have less support. Because as usual, Soviet Union is use, is using accident as a weapons against themselves. The lack of imagination of different institution, institutions of the problems they were fighting was the declaration of chemical service of USSR on 20th of May less than a month. In the declarations, they were talk talking about the possibility to return the population to these areas. Less than a month 
after the catastrophe with the, with the huge figures of radioactive infection. Uh, the management was was thinking about the uh, about this option to fight the panic. Really, as we can see, this option was considered by the Soviet management in in and only uh, um, and as we know, only after thirty years, people can't come back for communist management. The distribution of information about about uh, about catastrophe was. Um, was worse than the catastrophe itself. And first of all, they put the, the efforts on the information. On Chernobylsk uh, nuclear, uh, uh, nuclear power station accident happens, commission, commission was made and it all took just 15 seconds and it was just in, uh, it was just in one news program called Time on 26th of April. After that, this uh, after that, other countries of communist bloc uh, just translated and repeated this phrase without any additional information. For the millions of citizens who knew about the explosion at at Chernobyl, these words didn't mean anything and didn't explain anything. They had no data to imagine the scope of the catastrophe. As we can see uh, from this message, the uh, Soviet Union didn't didn't want to tell anything to its citizens. But Kremlin couldn't uh, keep silent anymore because in because in Sweden, in Sweden the powers found a uh, high level of radiation, uh, radiation and they asked Moscow what happened. The employees of the atomic nuclear st stations in Sweden they had a uh, standard procedure. They they were measured by the dosimeters. The, dosimet the, the dosimeters were showing uh, higher figures, and the first version was they uh, and it was so high they thought it the the uh, catastrophe was on their own power station. But after that, they understood that uh, that it happened due to the cloud from Soviet Union. During the entire time of uh, liquidating consequences of the accident, the power tried uh, to conceal information under the pretext uh, of preventing panic. Uh, Chebrikov, uh, the KGB had uh, those days, he sent uh, to uh, security service bodies a special telegram saying that one of the key tasks for secret servicemen uh, of KGB were to apply measures not to allow collection of information about radiational uh, indicators uh, and uh, using it uh, uh, to um, impair the interests of the USSR. Chebrikov ordered to strengthen uh, the search <coughs> Uh, in international and internal mailing, uh, the letters uh, uh, w w which can help to reveal the person's uh, uh, accomplice in this accident and to find the contacts uh, in the territory of the country and the board. Uh, the accident at Chernobyl NPP, they were used, it, the accident was used uh, to, uh, claim, uh, to take persons to KGB uh, jails and uh, to question them, to interrogate them, 381 preventive uh, dialogues, preventive interrogations, uh, including with foreign journalists, uh, they were conducted by KGB servicemen. Uh, I'm quoting now that foreign journalists were briefed about what information uh, to uh, publish. Uh, CBS uh, United States Channel team came uh, with a visit to uh, Kiev 
their contacts were limited and restricted to KGB servicemen. As a result, uh, foreigners uh, agreed to uh, publish uh, the information uh, which uh, which was uh, published by uh, Soviet sources. At the same time, in the West, starting with April 28th, uh, the information wave uh, the USA and the other countries, in the opinion of KGB, uh, were lying about Chernobyl and PPA accident uh, in their mass media sources. That is why all information uh, was classified by KGB, in, in particular information about areas which were contaminated by radiation. The list of types of information classified included 28 items using uh, the usual tactics, KGB servicemen organized visits to Chernobyl zone of uh, loyal to them uh, jo foreign journalists. On April 6, uh, uh, the village of Zeleny Mies, uh, the two uh, journalists from communist papers from France and Denmark visited. They were brought by the Communist Party organizations. Uh, so very uh, fast, uh, KGB servicemen uh, understood that in order to uh, disseminate the information they need, they may use not only ideological allies, but capitalists as well, uh, because uh, uh, the truth about the large scale of Chernobyl accident was financially uh, not comfortable for um, for those capitalist countries, according to the decision of the instance on April 24th, that year, 1987, uh, um, a team from M American CBS, uh, uh, headed by Andrew White, uh, was uh, uh, visiting Chernobyl zone, and most uh, uh, videos and most publications starting with April 1987, uh, they changed their tone. That is why KGB servicemen uh, stated that those information in foreign mass media are of unbiased nature. Uh, this was maybe because uh, some partial uh, opening of information was allowed. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, they proceed to conceal information and protest against concealment of information uh, continued and uh, grow, grew in the contact with uh, internal service uh, and secret service, uh, the uh, operative uh, elucidative activities were conducted uh, uh, during anniversaries of, of the Chernobyl accident. Uh, it was very fast understood that to block the leakage of information is impossible. The leaders of the country in vain trying to do so uh, and delegitimized themselves. The Kremlin uh, became uh, 
The fear of radiation was higher than the fear of the Kremlin. That is why the Chernobyl accident, uh, it was the first uh, uh, event which resulted in collapse of the USSR. Uh, the uh, accident uh, was uh, not uh, caused by all the mistakes. Of course, it was caused by the mistakes, but it was inevitable in such a country as the USSR was those days. And uh, the opportunity uh, to uh, to become not punished, this impunity of uh, those guilty. Uh, this was the price which the leaders of the country pay to those people who conceal information. Just contrary, just to the contrary, uh, those people who doubted uh, in uh, the country, uh, they were honored by the country, uh, but those people who believed the authorities, they went to the marches, to parades, and they did not flee uh, from uh, the territories uh, close to uh, the NPP. Those who believed in this power, they also started uh, to f flee from the ranks of supporters of this power. Uh, the evacuation and uh, of uh, people, uh, they uh, caused collapse in mentality. People should have fled themselves, those who took their fate in their own hands, those really saved themselves. Uh, the movement became large scale, the movement for individual uh, mentality, uh, the majority of people uh, departed from communist traditions. So, in 1988, uh, at the anniversary of Chernobyl accident, the attempts uh, not uh, uh, to uh, open the information, uh, they were in vain because protestants marched uh, along Khrushchev Street. Uh, and they uh, were uh, demonstrating banners uh, who will be responsible for Chernobyl accident. So it was the national movement which uh, put a full stop on the communist regime finally, and the empire collapsed. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any questions? Like in Chuk Dershava. And we, uh, the situation with Goldemore was uh, was the same as with Chernobyl. Is there was all the silence about it? Yes, it's very uh, it's very similar. I have an article about the Goldemore information blockade. The methodics were the same. How it was made not to have information leakage from one side and from other side, the use of loyal journalists who, uh, like Walter Duran, who told that there that there, that, uh, there was no problem, and also they were using so-called Potemkin villages when th when they brought French politician into into the village. 
where everything was fine and the same mechanism we used that time, but in 80s it didn't work because if Galadamor could be blocked on some territory because it was isolated, but the consequences of the radiation, radiation catastrophe couldn't be could could be silenced, and the world understood that it was that it wasn't possible to uh, just to hide behind the curtain because even a uh, democratic country can suffer because there is totalitarian regime next to them. And I think that was one of the reasons uh, that launched the breakdown of Soviet Union. Any other questions? Sorry, it's again me. As a judge of the criminals for famine, famine genocide, uh, and for Chernobyl, for example, only director uh, was called guilty. He had a, he had an imprisonment. But what about KGB? What about the management of the country? Are there any precedents? Was they responsible for that? I think for Chernobyl accident, accident, communist regime as a whole should be responsible. It's not about the director or chief engineer of the power plant. Yes, they had imprisonment, but the problem is it's not about their mistake. The problem is that all Soviet system was uh, built on irresponsibility. Responsibility became the main source of this catastrophe. And the most important judging from this catastrophe is the judging of communist regimes. This is one more argument. We uh, that's why we should remember not to repeat Soviet history. And the criminals of Nazi of Nazism were punished at Nuremberg trial. If you're talking about the total uh, total responsibility for the crimes of communism, I'm sure there should be some kind of anti-communism in Nuremberg. And one and one of the cases of this trial should be Chernobyl uh, accident, especially the attempts to hide the consequences that that became that became t t terrific, terrific. And uh, what about compensation? Israel, Israel had a claim to Germany, and Germany play, uh, paid to the victims and their relatives some amounts of money. Can we do something like this, like this to, to Russia, to Soviet Union? I would like to. I would like to believe it. When there will be, uh, when there will be um, Ukrainian flag in Crimea, we can discuss it, but not now. But Russian, uh, Russian authorities that. Um, that are behaving the same as Soviet Union, I don't believe they will take any moral responsibility to them, not uh, saying nothing about material responsibility. Good day, thank you for your lecture. My name is Vitaly, I'm just an inter interested person. My question is, Are there any proofs it could be experiment? It depends on uh, it depends on what do you consider experiment. In KGB documents, there were uh, there was information about experiments at at the turbine. But what kind of experiment was it? Don't know. Some people say it might military experiment, but uh, there is no clear information. But for the moment of the accident, reactor was working as they say in. In extra work, in extra working mode, in extraordinary mode, and in the documents I was citing, they say that even during the explosion, the experiment was going on on this reactor. Good evening. Thank you very much for your lecture. There was a pantheon of Soviet heroes. How accident at Chernobyl? change this pantheon if it did that was created and that was built in the mind of the soviet uh, person and what happened next i didn't think about such an aspect 
I thought that first of all, uh, accident changed the attitude of the Soviet citizens to the. Um, to the Soviet authorities, even the attempts of Soviet authorities to make update of this pantheon due to Chernobyl heroes didn't work. The Soviet Union was uh, was dealing uh, was doing in their in their normal normal tradition that uh, grief happened. We have new heroes. Let's remember about them, and they were trying to hide in this way. The crimes. It, it happened the same during the Second World War when they didn't tell about their crimes. They didn't tell about huge losses. They covered all this by heroism. And the same happened in 1986, but they couldn't add this pantheon of the heroes by Chernobyl heroes. It, they couldn't do it because all these all these steps were perceived as artificial. People didn't believe the authorities anymore. When accident happened, I was in political uh, in the camp for political prisoners at Ural. But I was reading that academic uh, that, uh, that academic Alexander told that these reactors are so safe they can be installed at the Red Square or under the bed of newly of newly married. What about Alexandrov? Did anybody take his title from him? Or I didn't uh, consider this issue, but I don't think there will, uh, there will be consequences for the officials. Only executors were made guilty, director, the chief engineer, and that's all. As I told you during my lecture already, if to find out who is guilty in this accident, of course we could we could come to Sherbitsky, to Gorbachev. At least the people who were, who were guilty in the death happened due to this accident. That's why they decided to limit the punishment by the people who were, who were on the positions at Chernobyl's, uh, Chernobyl power plant. And for Sherbitsky, this accident uh, became the beginning of the end because when in 1985 the rebuilding and democratization processes started that, Gar that Gorbachev initiated, this process, uh, this process didn't come to Ukraine because Ukraine was was frozen by uh, by Soviet processes. And Sherbitsky could just ignore all the calls from Moscow about democratization and other issues. And only accidents that happened at Chernobyl's power plant reinforced his possibilities and made possible democratization for Ukraine. Otherwise, we can imagine these conservative circles around Sherbitsky could transform Ukraine to the bastion of Soviet Union and to go to counter-attack quicker and could do it much more efficient. And maybe this rebuilding, uh, this rebuilding wouldn't happen at all. But Chernobyl's power plant became the first sign of decay of Sherbitsky and appealed to the rebuilding of Ukraine and this process be be became not changing, and it bro broke Soviet Union at last. But there is a version that Vladimir Sherbitsky committed suicide, right? Any other questions? Thank you very much. Ah, oh, no, there is one more question. My name is Vladimir Martinuk. It's the beginning of the 90s. I was working in the ministry devoted to Chernobyl. I was, I was speaking a lot to the personnel of the power plant, to other people, and from all these talks I had an impression, and they didn't hide. 
that these accidents was provoked. It was a kind of experiment. They just give them a gun and ask them to, ask them to press the button and uh, to fix what what happens next. The only things I the only things I couldn't believe that it wasn't accident, but now, when I understood this interest of USSR and its and its ancestors in the prices to the oil, I compared it with the oil curves, and understood that at the beginning of that in 1985 there was a there was a huge huge worsening of oil prices and it happened in april when chernobyl happened maybe it maybe that was uh, the reason and also there is a movie it's, it's called rasiski dyatel and it proves that this accident was planned it was a kind of it was a kind of planned action but with no reason I saw 100,000 KGB documents. This version wasn't even considered. I think that if I think there would be some signs about such an operation if it was real. So I don't. I don't think that's uh, that's a reliable option. Thank you very much for your lectures. There are a lot of young people here. There are no witnesses of these days. Every word uh, means a lot for us. I wanted to tell you about one day straight after the accident when we went to our to our summer house, and we this and we saw the land, uh, and and there was not enough grass on it, and they gave to us gas mask. And we were supposed to collect this land and hide it in the concrete trenches. And I was impressed so much by the, so much by that. And after that, I I wrote a verse and I called this verse when the land was buried. And it was published in one of the newspapers. And after that, one of the victims of the accident uh, wrote a song. And you can find it in the internet website of Tavaristva uh, Znanya and on this website the song the song is still on uh, and it's such a disaster that it's not possible when when land is buried into the land we had such a grief on on the uh, and it was on some distance from Chernobyl, on the other shore of Dnipro. It was in Chernigiv region. I just wanted to say to the young people what we survived. Thank you. As for me, one of the most emotional books on to this topic is is, is the book of Svetlana Alexeyevich, uh, Chernobyl Praying, and she also had the story about the about the land cutting and burying of the land and one of the participants of this operation also also remembers this unbelievable feeling when he when the land was burying and also there was a station to destroy the pets because there were too many of them they started uh, they started distributing infection and there was a special squad who should liquidate all uh, all the animals in this area not to distribute it not to distribute it in other regions. This book is published in Ukraine. It is one. Um, it is one more monument to Chernobyl, to to terrible crimes of Soviet regime. Uh, are there any? Uh, have ever um, been any comparisons of the data of civil defense uh, institutions and KGB? It seems uh, that one week before that accident, the civil defense training had been conducted. Just one week before 
the accident. So what was the result of the civil defense? The events uh, demonstrated that nobody was ready because uh, there were many uh, stealings, uh, the s objects that should have been in place, they were not there. And the phrase of Russia of 19th century when one uh, of uh, foreign tourists say that uh, they steal. So uh, talking about the reasons of this uh, accident, uh, uh, this is also one of the reasons that they stole. They even at the NPP, one could know this photo of lost machinery on a big field near Chernobyl, tractors uh, and lorries uh, lost. In 10 years, the British journalist uh, came there and he tried to he, he sought to make uh, a photo of the same field and when he came there all that uh, contaminated uh, machinery and vehicles they were stolen and although they are contaminated they were used somewhere even in parts well uh, those uh, uh, the uh, civil defense uh, persons uh, which uh, worked at uh, industrial enterprises they report that there was also an item that uh, they were trained in evacuation from 10 kilometer zone of a NPP. A similar um, testing uh, where uh, similar experiments uh, were to be conducted on other NPPs. So it was uh, an element of chance uh, that dispatching service asked uh, uh, to prolong the experiment. So the staff was stubborn. Uh, they should not have uh, uh, returned to that point in experiment. Uh, so there were thorough testing in the civil defense system and extraordinary and emergency uh, ministry. Well, the grounds are in detail described in the investigation materials, but I am a humanitarian person and I can't tell you all these details. The problem was not in the wrong button. The problem was in the system of Soviet Union. Дякую за увагу і до наступних зустрічей.